Hey, this is Man Made Mead. Welcome to the Mead Tournament of 2018. Now, uh, I have here 16 meads. I recently finished my 16th mead, and I thought to myself, what better number uh, to, they to make a tournament with? So, this tournament, the goal of it is to see who can take and go from their side and who can be the best in the end. So I have um, given each one a different number. Uh, I have numbers for them, but I gave them different numbers. I honestly don't know which is which. I mean, I can, I can take some inferences from some things, but I don't know for sure which is which. So part of this is to test how well I know my own mead, the taste of it and trying it things, and then also to see of my meads what's the best. I thought this video would be really fun. I'm excited for it. I made this whole thing. Um, it's going to be really fun. So, to get started, I'm going to start on this side. We're going to work tournament bracket style. And so, you know, it's going to be four, uh, four ver layers, basically. First one, first, and then second, third, and then, of course, the finale to see who's there in the end. All right, enough of me talking. There's a lot of mead. Uh, I have plenty of water, and I'm very excited to start trying stuff. I will be sure to tell you what uh, meads I am working with at the moment. So uh, don't be don't be like, oh, well, I don't know what you're trying. I'll be sure to uh, show you what I am trying at the moment. So to get started, here's a, a quick picture of everything, all the meads. Right now, I don't know, but in post, I'm going to go through and I'll put a little label above all of them. So here you go. All right. So. Like I said, let's get started with the right side and go from there. Here we go. Okay, first things first, uh, this is number nine versus number 13. This is the uh, eight finals, as they would call it, where you have eight on each side. So first I'm gonna try the number nine. Like I said, I don't know um, for sure which one's which. I will know, hopefully when I taste it, I'll know I mead well enough to be able to say, what's what. But uh, the hope is, let's see let's see what I can predict. So um, what you can do is place your bets and just kind of see who, who you think is going to win ultimately. Like I said, I put up a list earlier um, and I'll put a list in the description too of all my meads and their numbers right now. So you can uh, kind of see who you think will ultimately win the whole tournament. But number nine, let's see. It's a, uh, I think my number nine is my cherry, if I'm not mistaken. One, the flavor helps a little bit to know. But two, it's got, uh, it's not too sweet, not too tart, but it's definitely got that, uh, the darker cherry taste to it. So, it's good, it's a little dry, but it's, it's still kind of sweet. The number 13 now, this was the nine, here's the 13, it's a different color. Oh man, this one, it's a fruit, it's not one of my traditional meads, it is, I believe this is my pear mead, it tastes like my pear mead, um, it tastes really good, it's, it's, uh, it doesn't have too big of a bite of that, of uh, the fruit taste, but ultimately it's pretty good. Of the two in this battle, I would say... The pear, well, hopefully pear mead, moves on. So, sorry number nine, you didn't make it out of your first bracket, but that's okay. Moving on to the next one. All right, next up, we have uh, two more, of course, going in pairs. Uh, this is the number two, which has a nice kind of light color. It looks pretty good, pretty, uh, you know, based on the color, it's definitely probably a fruit. And then the number 11, which is, they are almost identical in color. This one's just a little bit darker, and that's totally okay. I'm gonna start with my right hand this time. This is the 11. We'll see what it tastes like. Definitely a traditional meat. Pretty sweet. I would say this is probably the April monthly meat. 
uh, which was a traditional meat that I did. Still young, uh, hasn't aged for a long time. I don't taste a lot of the age in it quite yet. Uh, however, it's still really good. Uh, I mean, I, I it's, it's good. That's the 11. Very sweet. Wow, very, very sweet. Oh, man, this is already getting difficult. Oh gosh. I think this one's a traditional meat as well. I don't taste very many fruit flavors or anything. Uh, this is the number two. This is the number 11. Of the two of them, I'm a more sweeter meat person, so ultimately I like this one. This traditional, well, I think traditional meat is pretty good. Uh, but the number two, which I think, I think it's a, tradi a traditional meat. I think it's, uh, I don't, I don't know. I, I can't say for sure. I'm already kind of stumped. So, number two though. How are you doing? I don't know if you placed your bet, but place your bet in. Let me know what you think. Who's going to win? Place it down in the comments. Uh, I think this will be kind of fun. Number two moves on. Okay, next up. This is the number eight, which is a darker colored mead, which get, lends me to believe it might be um, one of my, like the Boche or something like that, I don't know, just because I've done a lot of light colored ones. Now this one's a very light color. Um, I don't know, based on color, it's hard to say because a lot of these have the same color ultimately. Um, but I want to try, this time I'm gonna start with the number eight. So let's see what it tastes like. Oh, I would definitely say this is probably the boche. It tastes like the burnt um, caramelized honey. If you don't know what a boche is, you caramelize the honey, you burn it basically, then you put it in the meat. And it's uh, really good. I really like it. Uh, this is more than likely the boche. Leaving us with this is number eight. Leaving us with number six, lighter color. 100% that is the lemon and lime meat. Now since I last tasted it, um, it was really really sour, it's calmed down some. The, the flavor has subsided, it's not so uh, hard to drink, it's, you know, it's pretty good. But 100% lemon and lime meat. I am a huge fan of the Boche, so it moves on. But number six, the lemon and lime mead is pretty good too. So I would give both of them a shot. Okay, next up, we have the number 16, which is a light mead, and the number 14, which both of them are pretty light in color. Uh, on the camera, this one looks a little darker, but to my eye, they're pretty pretty close. But uh, this one, they're both, I've, I don't have 16 glasses of the same type. I didn't really want to buy 16 glasses, so they're all kind of sorted in different ways, um, and that's totally fine. Uh, it's, I still don't know <laughs> what's what. Here we go, let's start with the 14. Man, the aroma. Woo! Now that I say the last one was the lemon and lime, this one's got a citrusy. Makes me think of, uh, it's not the, I don't think it's the orange meat. It's gotta be the orange meat. I don't know. Darn, now, now I think that this is the lemon and lime meat. It says what I know. Uh, the, not all meats taste the same, but I feel like the, these are getting similar. I think this is the lemon lime. It's got a little citrus, it's got a little bite to it. It's still, it's still good though. 16, let's see. It's smoother. This one, um, hmm. I think, I think this one is, uh, Probably the, maybe the uh, pear, or the, or the, not the peach. Peach was a little bit, um, had a little more bite to it. Gosh. I, I wanna say that this one, going off, and I'm going off my brain right now, I don't have my lists in front of me. Um, this, this tastes like it's probably the, uh, the pear mead. But I could very well, well be wrong. You guys will know more than me, ultimately. 
So of the two, uh, this one had a little more bite, which I, uh, I don't mind the bite, but I do like the more smooth of this right now. So number 16 is the victor in this case. All right, next up, uh, we've cleared off half the board. Uh, four meats have fallen, four meats have continued on. I'm not throwing meat in the air, actually. Um, and so now we're on the next side. So four meats now will fall and four will keep going. This is the number seven versus the number three. Now, uh, they're both light colored. A lot of mine are light colored. This one is definitely a little bit darker. This one looks like it might have uh, some more fruit kind of tone to it because this one's very, very clear as opposed to this one. So this could be just be just be younger as well though. Starting with my left, number seven. Definitely a, a um, mellow bow. I think that this is, I think that this is the orange meat. It tastes like it could be the orange meat. It's still young, and it doesn't have, um, the flavor's not too bold, but it's still pretty good. And then we also have the three, which is that lighter color one. I already smelled the cinnamon. Um, ooh, that's great. This must be, I bet this is the uh, apple cinnamon mead, so it has to be. Um, I'm a huge fan of this one. This one's good. I like the orange. However, the cinnamon with this kind of kicks through and really gives that uh, apple that extra flavor when you think of like a, like an apple pie or something like that. So the winner of this round is the number three, which I believe is the uh, apple cinnamon mead. Okay, next up. All right, we are down uh, quite a few meads. The, these are definitely strong meads, so I bet by the end of this video uh, I'm going to be feeling it at least a little bit. So luckily I'm not drinking all of them quite yet, you know, I want to, um, you know, that might come later, we'll see. But uh, I haven't poured, I didn't pour too much to where I would have a ton of left over, I didn't want to overdo it. Next up is the number one versus the number 15. These two are very similar in color as well. and. Smell-wise, this one's a little sweeter, so we'll see how it uh, how they taste. Number one first. Very smooth. Not dry at all. No um, no uh, bite to it, which makes me think. Um, gosh, which one could this be? Maybe my apple meat, maybe just the straight apple meat, I think. Uh, it's either apple or uh, not the mango. I bet it's the apple meat. Next, number 15. Lighter taste. This has to be a lighter fruit. I'm thinking it's the. Um, I'm thinking this one is the, the peach mead. Maybe the peach. Hmm. This is hard. Both of these are really smooth and really good. Pretty equal in taste, frankly. Um, I would say that ultimately, uh, I do enjoy this one a little more. This one's nice and sweet and great, but this uh, one, which I don't, I can't say for sure which it is, uh, it's just got that, it got a little more, um, the little bite on it, which I do like in this case. I do like the bite on this one more than I do the really smooth of this one. So number one moves on. Next up. All right, next up, I had to take a minute to cleanse my palate just to make sure that I'm tasting these on a, a fair playing field. Ultimately, we have the number four and the number five. Looking at the colors, uh, this one is definitely a little clearer than this one, which makes me uh, think that this one could be a lighter fruit, but I'm not sure. So, number four, first, first. Oh, this one, this is 100%. The, uh, oh, I wanna say it's the peach meat. Has to be the peach meat. I'm, I'm betting on it. 
Number five. Mmm, mmm. This is the candy cane mead, if I've ever tasted it. Oh my gosh. Just the smell of it is pure bliss. Oh, this, I gotta give it to the candy cane mead. I love, love this mead. Now, kind of impartial to it in that, well, you know, kind of uh, unfair in that I just love this mead. This one, frankly, the peach comes through, but it's not as um, sweet peach flavored as I would like. It's more of like the after kind of aromic taste of the peach. The um, peppermint candy cane mead moves on. I love this one, it's so good. The last of the eight finals round is number 10 versus number 12. Um, so this one, the color differences are very, very different, which makes me believe that this one could be a couple uh, options. And I don't know what the number 10 could be just because I've been so similar in color. But starting with, let's start with the number 10 this time. Number 10. Um, I don't taste any fruit. I think this is a. I think this is a traditional mead. I think this is um, one of my early traditional meads. Like, I'm not sure though. Uh, it's it's not bad, but it's not the best uh, that I've had. Ten or excuse me, twelve. Flavor, smell of it. So good, 100% the blueberry mead. Got that nice blueberry uh, taste. I put the blueberries in the primary, or excuse me, secondary with this one, and they sat for a while. Really came through. I pureed them. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Got to give it to the blueberry mead this time. Number ten. It's got to stay back, um, and we have now have finished the eighth finals. All right, we have finished the eighth. Finals, so we are left with the running of, on this side, we have the 16, the 8, the 2, the 13, the, on this side, we have the 3, the 1, 5, and the 12. So, you should be putting in your bets and just seeing where you stand if you go out early. Uh, make another bet. Let's just see how far you can go ultimately. So, uh, these videos will come out in time. Um, I want to kind of span them out over a little bit because this is a really fun series, really cool series. I hope you've enjoyed this part. You can see uh, real fast where you stand. I'll put a quick uh, picture up, a video. So, here is everything we have. This is all of what we're dealing with. So, we are going for that centerpiece. Stay tuned for the next video, and you will find out who takes the next step. We are on to stage three of our uh, Mead Tournament of 2018. So, see you next time, and I'm excited.